All right, guys. Uh, I'm starting a new series called What Is This? I what? What? Um, Because, I mean, as a new trader, there's so much that you have to learn. And uh, sometimes when you're looking online, you know, you're not finding easy definitions that a new trader understands, you know. <laughs> so we're going to jump right into exactly uh, for our first episode. What is the PDT rule here? If you look at it here on just Google. F-I-N-R-A, a rule define a pattern day trader as any customer who execute four or more day trades within five business days, provided that the number of day trades represents more than 6% of the customer's total trades in the margin account for the same five business day period. What? What? So I'm going to break it down super simple here for you. Um, this is what the PDT rule means. Obviously, it stands for the pattern day trader. PDT rule is for traders with accounts under 25K. These are the essential points that you need to know, okay? Uh, you receive three day trades per five business days, which in a following video, I'll explain uh, a situation that happened to me that gives you an example of the PDT rule. So, you know, so this is a day trade. If you buy slash short, it's both, shares and sell slash cover, the same day it will count as a day trade. So if you buy and sell within the same day, it is a day trade. For example, if you buy 100 shares of Watt at 9 a.m. January 1st and you sell 100 shares of Watt at 3 p.m. January 1st, it will be counted as a day trade. Well, you may have a question. What happens if I buy 100, 100 shares of Watt and I want to sell it into two chunks? Good question. If you buy 100 shares of Watt at 9 a.m. January 1st and you sell 50 shares of Watt at 12 p.m. and the rest of the shares at 3 p.m. January 1st, it will only be counted as one day trade, which is nice to know. It, it lets, you average, lets you average out of a trade, you know, um, and let you lock in those profits and then sell off, you know, if you put a trailing stop loss or whatnot. So that's really helpful. Well, you have another question. What happens if I buy 100 shares of Watt and buy another 100 shares of Watt and then sell them together? Well, if you buy 100 shares of Watt at 9 a.m. January 1st and you buy 100 more shares of Watt at 12 p.m. and sell all 200 shares at 3 p.m. January 1st, it will be counted as two day trades, as I have learned twice. <laughs> so it's important that you know exactly what you're doing uh, and that that will definitely get you if you do not know but the PDT rule does not have to limit you it's there to protect uh, people with small accounts because you can still buy January 1st and sell January 2nd meaning it doesn't count as a day trade you can hold overnight on stocks that you believe are going to gap up or continue moving up obviously uh, is going to be your point or if you're shorting gonna you're you're hoping that the stock goes down based on the indicators you've used so you always can do that so you have five overnight plays and three day trades per five business days that's a total of eight trades per week and that is plenty to be successful so that wraps up a quick little episode of what is this what